As a Mac user, you're probably familiar with the dock. This is the item that appears at the bottom of your screen that contains all of the applications that you want quick access to. Now, personally, I don't like to see the dock the whole time. I would rather auto-hide uh, when I'm not using it. To do that, you can hit the keyboard shortcuts, Option, Command, and D for dock. When you do that... Look, it hides itself. That way I can take my mouse, drag it down, and get quick access to any of the applications that I want to use. And then when I move away from the dock, the dock disappears. That way the dock isn't occupying a bunch of screen real estate that I'm not using all the time. But for right now I am going to show the dock because I'm going to show you how to add a shortcut for Cubase or any other application that you need fast access to. So I'm going to hit Option, Command, and D. It's going to show my dock again. And then I'm going to open my application window by typing Command, Shift, and the letter A. That's going to open my applications folder on my Mac hard drive. And then I'm going to scroll down to the Cubase 5 program. Now, it's possible that the installer for Cubase already put a shortcut into your dock. However, if it didn't, all you have to do is click and drag the Cubase 5 program down onto your dock. And I kind of like to put Cubase at the very, very end of this list so that it's very, very easy to find. And that will make it very easy to launch Cubase 5 anytime you need to without having to go to your applications window. And now that we have Cubase 5 in our dock, we're going to move on to our next video, which is launching Cubase 5 for the first time.